Uh, key components of tournament prep for players that haven't really played tournaments. First of all, you gotta go in with the right mindset, uh, mostly that you know, you, you might be there to compete, but competing is also fun. Um, so yeah, you're there to compete, you're there to win, you're there to have fun, but at the same time, first tournament, you can't be, you can't take stuff too hard. So, you know, if you don't play your best, like that's to be expected. People just aren't really used to playing tournaments, uh, especially, you know, early on. And that's a different environment than practice. So, you know, I'd say just, just don't take things too hard if you don't play how you expect to play. Um, other tournament preparation, I'd just say whatever you need to do to get into the right mindset, whatever you need to do to, to warm yourself up, like the stuff that you know how you play your best, make sure you actually get that done, whether it's days before or the day of. Uh, you know your body the best, you know your performance the best, so you gotta, you gotta think about those things and actually enact them and not, you know, not be lazy about it. Yeah, I would say having your first time tournament experience, um, number one, pick a good partner. <laughs> I did, <laughs> and, and uh, ideally, in all seriousness, try to partner with somebody who's slightly better than you um, for your first tournament, because if you are the much worse player, you're gonna get targeted, and it's probably not gonna be super fun, and if you're the much better player, you won't see any balls, which is not also super fun, so slightly better partner um, really helps you have the best tournament experience. Um, come prepared as far as food and hydration. Um, a lot of times, tournament days can be long days, uh, and people aren't really ready for the on and off sort of <laughs> matches where they're like, is this the norm at a pickleball tournament where we play at eight and then we don't play again until 1030 and then we play 10 minutes later after that and the tournament could go the whole day. Um, so just being aware that that could happen and being armed with food, hydration, that sort of stuff. Um, and then like Ben said, having the right expectations because practice or practice games, rec, um, even more of a competition format is different than a tournament where a score is called, there's a referee, there are two opponents there that are trying their best to beat you and they don't really care how they do it um, because you might beat somebody in practice. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna beat them in a tournament. Tournament experience matters and it's something that you have to accumulate over time.